Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today, we're going to be playing with... Mono Leap. And it could be a car crash. You never know. But first, we're going to kick off with a brand new single from a really awesome artist by the name of Andy Goldsby. Goldsby, 18 miles, brand new, just dropped. Let's stop it and make sure it doesn't keep playing. 
<laughs> Hello. Hope you're all doing good out there. Hope everyone's well and fine and dandy. Uh, if you are watching over on Facebook, welcome to you. You can always join us over here at the YouTube at youtube.com slash jadestar. There's the little banner down the bottom. Go over there. See? Cool, cool, cool. Um, or you can watch us daily live at the Twitch at twitch.tv slash how to app on iOS. Or you can become a Patreon, which is where I mastered that track just this weekend, just gone. That's how quick it took to get that song out on uh, on all the digital streaming services. I only mastered that two days ago, pretty much. Hang on, three days ago. <laughs> and it was out the following day. Can you believe that? That's incredible. That's really amazing stuff. Uh, to see that a song can land on digital distribution that quickly. Okie doke, let's say hello to people who are on the chat here. Make sure I turn off my ads. Uh, thank you very much, Alex Backers, for the kind super chat. That's very really nice of you. Should get a little notification soon with my new setup. The way, who knows where, is it going to be above my head? Is it going to work? I don't know. Alerts are turned on. Let's see if it works. Now I'm curious to see if it w works with the new. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Cool. <laughs> so feel free to super chat if you want, because you get a little uh, thingo that happens above my head, which is nice. Hey, so let's say hello to folks who are here in the chat. Hello to Alex Baggis. Hello to Bear. <laughs> Hello to Kim Harden Hudson. Hello to Thomas Christ. Hello to Russ. Hello to Gazo of Oz. Welcome to you. Uh, Cy, effing good to see you. Missed you yesterday on the show. Good to have you back. Scott S.M. Borthwick, who'll be on the show next week for an interview. Uh, two Scots, Scott one and two. Scott, no friends? Not today. Oh, come on, Peppy. Come on, Peppy. Do you magic? That's it. A bit slow there, Peppy. Um, who else is here today? Uh, Gary Hubs. Hello, Gary Hubs. Kev Hart. Hello, Kev. Did you get to watch the movie last night? Did it work? I, I, I sent Kev a copy of Dune last night. Hopefully it work, worked and you get to watch it. It was an awesome movie. If you haven't seen Dune, I thought it was sick. I don't know what anyone else thinks. It's up to you. Uh, who else is here? Have I missed anyone while well, I'm scrolling? I'm scrolling and talking shit. What is this? Audible video. Hello to you. Uh, I think I saw Sean Chandler or Patrick Chandler. I saw one of the Chandlers. Patrick Chandler. I saw Patrick Chandler. There's Patrick Chandler. Um, I think I've got everyone. I've got Patrick. I've got the whole lot. I've got all the Pokemon. You're all here. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I'm at the bottom now. Sweet. Okie dokie. Smoky pokey. A few hours ago, it came in. <laughs> Fuck, man. How can it not work? I fucking watched it on my, on my iPad. I don't know, dude. You must be doing something wrong. It's bullshit. Uh, all right. Let's, let's talk about uh, new apps because there are some. There are some new apps. There's some good new apps that have just dropped today. Uh, and they've got a price drop attached to them straight away. And I'm going to be reviewing them uh, next week. Oh, we downloaded a few hours ago. Did you watch it? I don't know. Whatever. All right. Let's 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 jump over here. Do this. Because look what's out, folks. All of the Swarm woodwind instruments are out. They just dropped about seven hours ago. Swarm French horn. Swarm double bass. So they put all of their instruments on sale. But all of the brand new um, instruments dropped today. So your saxophones, all that kind of stuff. And they're all on sale. And you know what? Next week, I'll be looking at all of them across three shows. Because there's 14 new Swarm apps. 14 of them. Count them. 14. Um, so they all just dropped today. And if you are a Patreon... 
I got a lot to give away, so we sh we should have at least fourteen of them to give away. So, and you can pick whichever one you want. So that's gonna be cool. So become a Patreon. Um, yeah. So all of the Swarm apps are on sale at the moment, from twenty nine ninety nine to nineteen ninety nine. All the new ones have dropped. I wonder if they're in the newest app section in here. Let's see. Let's do a search, shall we? Newest, and we select. Uh, what do we want? Genres, music, go. Let's see. Are they here? No, they're not here. There you go. We can jump over and have a look here. Um, so if we go to audio modeling, audio modeling. Um, so here they all are here. Swam alto flute, swam alto sax, swam baritone sax, swam bass clarinet, bass flute, swam bassoon, swam clarinet, swam contrabassoon, swam English horn, swam flute, oboe, piccolo, the uh, soprano sax and tenor sax. That is all of the ones that just dropped. I've been in contact with uh, Audio Modeling and they're going to send me all of them later today. So I'm excited. I've been on the beta anyway for, I think there was five of them on the beta. But that's really exciting because they sound great, as you would expect. And we've all been waiting for saxophones for the longest time. If you're using sensual sax, get rid of it. It's shit. Don't listen to Pete Johns. He's a liar. Um <laughs> Uh, I see Auntie G's here. Hello, Auntie G. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Um, nothing wrong with that one. Probably got in the way of the master that you were doing for me. I sent you the master as well, dude. Dude, go through the... F oh, my God. Bitch. Look through the messenger. It's the first link I sent you. The master. It's sent. Oh, my God. Talk about a bitch. See, this is... <laughs> Now I'm having an argument with my bandmate on the show. <laughs> Fucking bitch. All right, guys. So today we're looking at an app called Mono Leap. Now, this is going to be hard for me to show off, yeah? Because it's just going to be hard. And I hope this doesn't turn into a car crash. It probably is. And I'm sure you're all hoping it's going to turn into a car crash because I have to show this across two iPads. You'll see why. Uh, <laughs> bitch, too busy mastering fucking bagpipes, you tart. Dude, I swear to God, go back through the messenger and look at the first link. It's the mastered track. You are such a fucking conniving bitch. Anyway, <laughs> we're having a band fight on the show. It's awesome. Hey, what's going on, Ivan? <laughs> you know what I call uh, Kev in private? Uh, Kim, slut guts. That's Kev's <laughs> adoring name from me. All right, so what is Mono Leap? Mono Leap is like a, think of like GeoShred. It's like a virtual, uh, I don't know, man. You want to see it? <laughs> you want to see it? I'm going to show it to you first. Let's Let's show it to you happening here. Man, I hope this works. Let me get some volume. So I've got this camera here. Oh, look at that shirt, man. How good is that shirt, Kev? So here it is on my other iPad. Yeah. And it should all be connected. If I turn up the volume, bump up the volume. Oh, man. I've got some weird noise. Hey, Andy. So this is what Monoleap can do. It needs some more volume, doesn't it? Sorry. There we go. That's better. Pretty cool, yeah? Pretty out there. Let me turn that down for a second. 
and let me get back to this camera and we'll show you what's going on how to how, what this thing's all about because it takes a bit of learning now i got given this app um on behalf of the developer from ali ahmed who runs a, a couple of facebook groups so thank you ali for being the intermediate for this well here's the good thing um whoever sent the restream bot restream but so it's uh who did that send um derek reminds me of moog synthesizer you can actually connect any app to this you can connect standalone apps or you can connect through aum yeah so let's have a look and uh have i missed anyone who's here uh, peter hello peter uh all right let's jump into this screen here so here it is this is on my other ipad you can only use this in portrait mode right so it's a it's a very hands-on app i'll give you the price before everybody starts jumping up and down and going oh my god i wouldn't use this this is pointless it's two bucks two bucks it's going to be really fun to use with the swarm instruments yeah because you can use it with virtually everything you know all the call gaps swarm instruments you can use it via aum it's not auv3 but the way it works is quite clever. So we'll show you how that works. So you've got this little, well, not little, this big button down the bottom here. When we click on this, you are presented with the options. And uh, as you can see at the top, you have MIDI enabled. So we have that turned on. We obviously want that turned on because this is a MIDI controller of sorts. Um, the, the next bit underneath there, oh, you can choose your MIDI channel. Now, I can't show you this, but I have to look at this sideways. <laughs> so if you see my head going like this, don't worry about it. Um, so you've got your MIDI channel here. You can turn on your MIDI here. Uh, this is your XY uh, section here. So you can actually set a MIDI uh, value here for your XY. And uh, you can actually control. I'll show you how cool this really is. Uh, in the middle here, so you've got down the bottom your three little uh, sections. This section here uh, turns on the internal synth or turns it off. So when the internal synth is on, and I hold down the uh, hold down my fingers on here, well that didn't work because I've got it connected <laughs> to AUM. But you do get. Let's see if we can uh, sort this out. We'll jump over to AUM and we'll close it because I think I've got everything saved in AUM. Where are we? AUM. Let's just close that and now if we go back to the internal clock here so it's got its own internal sound the thing is, you can't change that sound. That is what's built into it. But that's just so you can test that it's working, yeah? Um, also here, you've got the show pattern guides. So when you've got the show pattern guides on and um, calibration enabled, and you can also choose to be left-handed or right-handed. So if you lead with this hand, you would choose left hand. If you lead with this hand, you would choose right hand. Pretty self-explanatory, yeah? And down here, you've got a, a your scale. So you can actually choose a scale. So if you hit a wrong note, so you've got a bunch of scales down here. You've got chromatic. Uh, you've got all of them. You've got a whole bunch of scales here. So you can choose your scale. You can actually choose your key here as well. So you can choose to be in D if you like. You can choose C. So that's really cool as well. Yeah. Um, and when you've got this turned on here this show pattern guides and calibration enabled when i hold my fingers down you'll see it gives me a a set of blocks there which is a guide for my fingers so it's showing you where you should be putting your fingers now you can turn that guide off if you want uh, but that's a, because you've got visualizations as well. So we'll jump over here. Here are your visualizations. So you get like, what is it, eight of these? So you can choose different visualizations if you like. So if we go over here now, you'll see. So 
so you can create these visualizations but you're just seeing it on the screen here which is really hard to play because it's sitting on its side for me where it shines is when when you hold it in your hands the way it's like meant to be held is almost like a, a an accordion kind of thing so it sits on your lap kind of thing which is interesting i don't know how that's going to go playing live if you've got like a, a dongle hanging out the bottom that could get a bit annoying the dongle could fall out so that's a thing to keep in mind but at the end of the day why am i showing you this app because not every app has to be about recording music this is fun this is something that's really fun and i've spent the last week learning how to play it learning the actual uh the notes because it's a whole new instrument and i will i'll show you why so we'll jump into the documentation and give you a snippet of what's going on here okay so this is the website monoleap.com and um here there's a get started uh, you can download this guide here so we'll click on that and open it up and here it is bear says i hate when your dongle's hanging out so do i man it's disgusting so you do get a wonderful presentation of instructions here so what is monoleap it's a midi controller for ipad designed for monophonic sounds bass lead synths sampled wind strings you can actually use drums on this as well too you'll see very soon you can actually use drums um tells you about your leading hand so you can see <laughs> here holding the device <laughs> so this is upside down we recommend having the device resting on your lap while sitting down it's not possible to both hold the device and play comfortably at the same time uh to play position your hands on the ipad as shown and you can see there's little numbers here for your fingers All right so this you have to you have to learn how to play this whole thing so here's your calibration which i just went through how to calibrate your fingers right and now you get to the fingering patterns i said it fingering patterns <laughs> oh man so here's what's cool this is what really took me out of the moment because you actually have to learn how to play this like a recorder these are all your notes yeah so you've got c2 which is one finger down and another finger then c then c sharp one two and another finger then you see as you move to d you've got a finger down one two three and then you remove number two so it's a whole like yeah there's a whole thing of learning this whole all these scales man so it's taken me a, a bit over a week to do this and then you're given the right hand version as well yeah so but for two bucks really fun really fun stuff um so as you can see here for best performance you can actually use mono leap uh, as a software instrument so you can actually just open up an app so there's an example here of opening up the mini moog and just set it to uh to midi channel one and then just close it and then open this and it's connected that's how easy it is it's really simple super super simple yep you've just made it in time john for a session of fingering that's all we're here today to do <laughs> so there's all the instructions so i definitely recommend you downloading this booklet this little uh, instructional pdf if you get a hold of this and you know i said again it's two bucks good fun good fun all right so let's jump in and i'm going to show you how to set it up with something like aum all righty let's hope this goes so open up aum now i've already got a something set up here but you know what i'm going to set it up from scratch so let's set it up from scratch so i want to add a bunch of instruments to this and um first i'm going to open an audio track let's open four audio tracks yeah so and in here the first track we'll add what shall we add we'll add ravenscroft so we've got ravenscroft in here now what's important with this oh and we'll open a fifth track as well 
and I'll show you why I'm doing that. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you add a an instrument is go head up here to the little hamburger and select AUM destination. That is now letting know anything that's a MIDI controller, a virtual MIDI controller, to know to play this particular item here. So now, if I go in and open up Motion Leap, just to show you, make sure the internal clock is off, uh, the internal synth is off. So now we're, we're all good. We should be able to... Cool, yeah? <laughs> That's really hard to do sitting on its side in front of you. <laughs> Trust me, that is a bitch. But how easy was that to set up? There you go, Ravenscroft connected. That's really cool. Nice and simple. Hope you're all following. So let's add it because what you can do is you can add a whole slew of instruments to it. So let's go in and add, um, let's add iSymphonic. iSymphonic, if I can spell it. And once again, head up to the little hamburger icon next to it and just choose AUM destination. So now we can go in here. Um, but, but, but hey, hey, what happened there? That's bizarre. Did I choose, uh, let's do this. Try that again. I symphonic. What? Oh man, are you shitting me? Why is it only coming up as an interrupt audio? <laughs> Do you know what I think's happened here? <gasps> See, I knew I knew this was going to happen today. All right, let's do. Let, fuck off, Siri. Jesus Christ. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Oh, for fuck's sake, face ID, dude. All right, bear with me. So what we're gonna have to do here is shut down the iPad. Oh man, Siri, fuck off. So I'm gonna have to shut down the iPad and reboot. So guess what folks, that bug is still around where your, uh, your AUV3s just vanish from the iPad. They don't exist even though they're all installed. Isn't that great? Thanks, Apple. Great job on iOS. Can't wait to download iOS 15 for more problems. Good times. So that's what just happened then. I couldn't actually load an, inter uh, an AUV3 because apparently they'd all just disappeared from my iPad, even though they're all still installed. Um, it's a bug that's been around for a long time. No one knows why it happens. Apple's never addressed it. They just keep telling us that their software is the best in the world. Of course it is. Um, so let's open up AUM again. And let's hope that this time... So we'll open up the audio tracks once again. Cool. So we've got five audio tracks. We'll do a search for... Look, they're all back now. There you go. Amazing. Ravenscroft. Head up to the little hamburger again. Set AUM destination. So now we'll insert uh, iSymphonic. So now we've got iSymphonic in here as well. And we'll choose AUM Destination. And now we'll choose, um, what shall we choose? We'll choose a Baroque. Let's choose a Baroque uh, Orchestra. So we've got a Baroque Orchestra happening. For our third thing, let's choose something a bit off the wall. Like, I um, know, oh Aparillo. So now we've got three instruments in here and we choose AUM destination. So now we've got three instruments all sitting there. Now if we go over to, mo to Mono Leap, look at this. How cool is that? So they're all connected. And at any time, we can jump back over to AUM and we can remove. Just remove these, jump back over to Mono Leap. And now.
Good stuff, hey? And once again, really easy to bring this stuff back in here just by heading over and re-adding these sounds. So let's just take out and check out Aparillo by itself. And this, I haven't even chosen a, a sound in Aparillo. Cool stuff, yeah? Alrighty, so let's mess around a little bit more with this. So what I want to do is I want to send the tracks to this final track here. So down, what I'm going to do is uh, select down here, mix bus and send to uh, mix to bus A. And I'm going to do that for all of these tracks. Send this to mix A, every one of them. Boom, 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 boom. Even this one, which doesn't have an effect in here yet. And then in this one here, we're going to let this one uh, receive it. So we want to receive from A. So all of these are going into this final track here. Now in here, I'm going to put some drums. So let's throw in a Hammerhead. So we've got Hammerhead now loaded up in here. We can hit the hamburger and select AU destination. Now if I turn everything off here and head back over to Mono Leap, we have <laughs> We've got drums in here as well. Pretty cool, yeah? So you can actually do drums as well. Anything you can think of that's, that you can put in AUM, you can actually control with this, which is really cool. Hello, Mars Capone. Good to see you, my friend. So now if I go back over to, uh, to uh, AUM, I can add all of these. <laughs> Let's just go in and select, uh, we'll select a sound in here, so a drum kit. And now if I go back over to Mono Leap, everything's in here. Right, but there's more you can do. So you notice when I actually add my fingers to it and move them around. By moving your fingers up and down, the actual, while, your, while your fingers are holding down notes, you can actually control the X, Y axis on here. So I'm gonna show you an example of what you can do with that. Um, let's uh, do this. So what I need to do is head over to the the uh, MIDI section here and you'll notice here with the XY there's already some uh, some values set here. Yeah, you can change these to whatever you want. You can you can mess with these, change them to whatever values you want. But what have we got here? So we've got 40 and 74. 40 and 74. So let's just go in and add something like, I don't know, Dragonfly, because we did that yesterday. So we'll go back to AUM, and um, we're going to add an effect here, and I'm going to choose Dragonfly. Now I'm going to open up Dragonfly, we'll get it full screen, and you'll see in Dragonfly, you can actually mess with the parameters here. So I'm going to go into the parameters, and select here, and make this AUM destination as well. So now I can choose in here which one of these parameters I want to control with the XY uh, uh, settings within uh, Mono Leap. So if we go to, what do we want to choose? Let's choose um, rate and we choose ch MIDI channel one and double tap on this. I'm going to choose the number 40 because it was 40, I do believe. And if we choose uh, fine tuning, 
I can't remember what the other one was. <laughs> 74. 74. So we're going to fine tune here. And uh, we shall... So we'll, we'll actually choose... Um, what do we want? We will, we'll choose factor. And we'll choose MIDI channel 1. And 74. So now both of these are set within Dragonfly to control the X, Y axis. Now, if I jump out again and have a look, 20 and 71, 20 and 71. I want to choose two more sections as well. So 20, let's choose a uh, stereo. It was 20 and we'll choose wildness. 71 71 so now dragonfly is now controlled by mono leap by moving your fingers up and down the x y axis and i'll show you this check it out it's really cool so remember dragonfly is a tremolo app Pretty damn cool. So just think you can add anything to this. Any app that has the parameters open to, to change this. So, I mean, this is like a, a it is like GeoShred, but it's a whole new different way to learn. And GeoShred was exactly the same. When you downloaded GeoShred the first time, it was like, oh, I've got to get used to a whole new instrument. So that's the basics of, of how you do everything in there. I'm gonna now see if I can switch to this camera. Here's where the disaster begins. So here's my other iPad, which is quite dirty because I never use it. And I have all the same things set up. Even a dodgy lead. Let's see if I can fix this lead. <laughs> so this is how you play it. Let's see if I can bring it down to a decent level. So you notice there as well that I have the drums connected, same as what I do on the on this one. So I'm going to turn off the drums. We'll disconnect the drums, so it's all just instruments. I'll turn this up a little bit more, and here we are. Oh man, ah, lead for fuck's sake. So you can see there when I move my fingers in and together, it's activating Dragonfly and you're getting that tremolo. And when I move this finger, you're getting a stereo effect.
Pretty ace, yeah? So just remember you can add anything to this, you know? Anything you want. Uh, as long as you're an AUM. So you can see I've got the same setup in here. And this great chord. That's <laughs> that provides great noise. So remember also, as I said, you can go in here and you can change the scale. So we can go to a, because that's in C. So we can go to a D. We can change from chromatic to Dorian. Now the thing to remember is once you go into a different tuning, if you hit a note that, uh, so you can't make a mistake with it, right? Because it's, it's, in, it's in Dorian. But if you hit a note that isn't uh, represented by the finger movement, by the finger controls, it'll just stay the same. It's a buck ninety nine, man. It's a dollar ninety nine there. It's super cool. <laughs> is it gonna be is it something practical you could use for recording? I don't think so. I don't really think so. Is it something cool to have a jam with? Could you use it on stage? I think so. You definitely could. Um Cool bananas. Uh, no, GarageBand doesn't work with it. Why? Because you'll have to talk to Apple about that because they're dicks. Um, no, because Apple don't have open, they don't open up their MIDI uh, for you to get in here and play with it. Because as you see, when we look at the setup here, you can choose MIDI channels in here. So you can choose one to 16 MIDI channels. Yeah. But it will work in something like Cubasis. It just won't work in GarageBand, yeah? So you can use this in something like Cubasis, AUM. Definitely not a problem with that. Uh, you can open standalone apps. So that's not a problem as well. If I open up, uh, let's see if I go back into uh, AUM. So here's our project here. I think I've got this saved anyway. So I, don't, I can uh, close this out. Uh, let's clear it. Hello, Thomas. I think I said hello to Pete. Hello, Timothy. Um, if I open like a Moog, what have we got? If I open a Model D, do I have Model D on here? So now I've got a Model D open. Uh, and I just, I think all you need to do is make sure, uh, we're set on Omni input. We're all good there. So now if, if you're doing it as a standalone, you need to leave this open. So, so now. Now, if I close that and go to Mono Leap here, there you go. So now we're connected. That's how easy it is to connect to something. Super easy, yeah? So again, if I start up another thing, like uh, let's just close that out. You've got to remember, it's not AUV3, so it's it's connecting via MIDI in the background. 
So I'm sure people are going to get super upset that it's not AEV3, but it's the way this thing works. So even if we open up here, um, say a swarm, swarm sax, uh, one of the new saxophones that's just dropped today. So maybe soprano sax. Go over to the hamburger and select AUM destination. It should. How easy was that? There you go. There's a controller. There's your, there's your swarm saxophone. It's super easy to connect. Latency is not a problem because it's it's the same device. What you can actually do as well, you can connect this. So think about this. You can connect this to a Mac or a um, a PC via Bluetooth. If you go back into the instructions here, something which I'm not going to be able to do today, but if you go back through the instructions, <coughs> excuse me. Using a Mac or PC, MonoLeap can also send MIDI data to a Mac or PC using a cable, lightning, USB, uh, or wirelessly Bluetooth over Wi-Fi. To connect your iPad to a Mac, simply attach the iPad using the, uh, the lightning or USB-C cable to enable your iPad uh, in audio MIDI setup, audio devices list, connect to MIDI, and you can use MonoLeap to play desktop, any desktop software instrument. Uh, to connect you wirelessly, just use the Bluetooth MIDI Connect app. So, so you know, there's quite a, a lot of possibilities with this thing. I don't know, man. It's two bucks. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not even a, it's half a cup of coffee and, and you can have a good time with it. So I think the developer's out of Israel. I think this is, I'm not sure if this is his first app or not, but, you know, I'll, you know what I'm like? I'm always going to support somebody who's uh, a budding developer kind of thing and, is at least thinking outside the box because that's what iPad's for, you know. Here it is. So it's Dan. And um, yeah, he doesn't have any other apps listed here. So definitely um, worth supporting the guy because he's obviously put a lot of work into it. And I'm sure he's going to do some updates for it in the future. I know Jamie Mellon did, his, did a show on this and, and suggested some some things to maybe make it a little bit cooler. Um, like some different fingering you can maybe make an option for some easy fingering stuff because it's a lot to learn like it really it is like picking up a brand new instrument and learning all the where your fingers sit and everything like a recorder that's why i said that at the start so it's a bit to take on you, you're not just going to be able to pick it up but you know hey i think that's really interesting learning a new instrument especially something that's on a piece of glass see you later john thanks for hanging out today well, I think that's it for today. Um, it's a great load of fun. Um, again, I want to thank uh, Ali Ahmed for uh, putting me in contact with the dev and getting me a copy of this. And yeah, what do you guys think? Two bucks. Go have a play with it if you want. And that's it. So tomorrow, what are we doing on the show? We are going to be doing a bit of stupidity, going back to doing the FMC video clip. So more ballerinas in front of placentas. Because you can't ever get enough of that, can you? Yeah. And then <laughs> and then the day after that, we are back uh, doing an interview with the one, the only, Matt Seven which is going to be really cool. So make sure you come over and hang out with myself and Matt Seven for episode 49 of interviews. 49 interviews. Can you believe that's how many interviews we've done? Good stuff. Hey, you know, as usual, do the things that make you happy. Yeah? Make mistakes because they make you better and we all rise together. I'll see you all tomorrow for some FMC fun in LumaFusion, yeah? Okie dokie, have fun, goodbye, for now. I didn't even use one face filter. Not even one. Shall I do one before we leave? Let's do one before we leave. What, what would you like to see? All right, we'll do this one. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me as usual. <laughs> I had fun. I really did. Do the things that make you happy. From me, Jade the Hamster. See you later, everyone. Bye. Cue the music. <laughs> <laughs>
I can see Bear, I can see Kim, I can see Andy, I can see SM Borthwick through my magic mirror. Magic mirror, tell me today, have all my friends had fun at play? Okay. 